hungry too. Okay, let me get over here to TikTok. And there I am, I'm live over there. Okay. I see myself. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm wearing the six day kid blanket inspired shrug. It says you need to subscribe to join the discussion. So I, I have subscribers now. I have one subscriber. <laughs> um, let's see, enhance and I have to mirror because I'm gonna crochet. Um, am I mirrored? Yeah, I guess we'll know when I put the thing up. Um, so how's everybody doing? I spent the day loading the six day hexagon cardigan onto my website. So it was supposed to be released tomorrow. I got it out today. Um, it's there. It's uh, free on my site and also available for ad free PDF purchase. Um, it's a little bit pricier of a pattern. I'm just gonna not gonna lie. Um, and I'm just gonna say that a lot went into this pattern and it is it's one of those patterns that you can do a lot of things with. So this is one of those you're not just going to make once, you're going to make it again and again and again. It's more of like a recipe than a pattern and um, you're going to love it. Everybody loves the, the one that I made um, for my daughter, the purple one. And um, I'm going to write that up as a separate a separate pattern but you can absolutely make it from the six day hexagon cardigan pattern that I published already yeah who's I thought I heard a comment come in who's here I mean that comment window there it is Oh, I have you on the living room TV with YouTube. <laughs> wow. Hooks up needles ready. I love that. Um, I, I love that uh, name. I hope you're coming out with an ebook with all the six day patterns. My next, the next project that I have is actually an ebook of um, the the patterns with all the hi Amanda welcome um, a, a book of the um, six day kid blanket the original six day kid blanket with the variations with the five different types of striping and a bunch of patterns hi Wanda good to see you my dear um, and patterns and the chart that um, I'm, I'm going to include the charts in there. I'm going to include the story of the six day kid blanket, um, the cheat sheet, like all the all the things. So it's going to be the complete six day kid blanket, design your own um, blanket, and also you know all the all the different patterns, the um, the the vivid chevron, the snowflake effect, the Australian confetti, um, all, all of them. I can't even remember all the names of them <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, so that, that's coming, but thank you for asking. Hi, Sharon. Lots of familiar names here. Wonderful. Your six-year-old has already placed her order for her sweater. That's great. So I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a six day um, hexagon cardigan on this on this live. Did I hook up my camera? Oh no! Did I hook? Cause I unhooked the camera so I could print something not too long ago. But did I ever hook it back up? Gosh darn it! I knew there was something. I knew there was something. Oh no, it's hooked up. Never mind. Never mind. I'm all set up and ready to go. I'm ready and I'm excited. Can you tell? I was sick over the weekend, but I think honestly that I made myself sick 
um, worrying about getting everything done. I drove all the way up to Baltimore to take those photos of my daughter in the sweater, but it was worth it. Tell me it was not worth it. Those photos are like gold, golden, 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 golden. So I'm going to, oh, I know what I have to do. I have to pull that pattern up. Six day hexagon card again. And I'm gonna make one. Um, wow, it looks different on this computer. I'm going to make one. I have some of the yarn left over from um, my daughter's sweater. So I guess I'm going to be making one in those purple tones. And I'll tell you what I, what I did, um, how I did it. Uh, let's see her jack her jacket is I did let me see the options that I did on it it's a ladies medium size and I added a little bit of width to the back because I didn't want the sleeves to be super huge so I I um, I made the sleeves, I gave the sleeves two inches of ease based on her measurements. And then I did, I added length and I did a flared sleeve and I did a hood and I did a buttonhole band and buttons. Hey, Kathy, good to see you, my dear. Um, yeah, that's what I did. And I didn't plan or control the colors. The yarn, unfortunately, has been discontinued, so you cannot get that yarn anymore. But honestly, that Karen Ogo Big Donut yarn is just your basic worsted weight yarn in colors. So if you want to copy this jacket, you can, um, you can easily copy it. But I'm going to start one. Um on this live and we'll see how I do. I hope I don't make any embarrassing mistakes. <laughs> I'm going to make it in a smaller size so that I can try and get the whole thing done on these lives or at least enough of it so that you so that I can, you know, make video have present like all the different parts of of this. Hello, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Welcome. Hey, Julie. Well, I mean, if I make mistakes, that's just part of my brand, right? <laughs> I used to teach violin to small children and one of them wrote me this card. I'll never forget this. Um, and they said, you are a good such a good teacher because you make mis you make a lot of mistakes and you just say oops and you keep going <laughs> hmm. look at me drinking water look at me come on i want praise and accolades for that drinking water I am so not good at drinking water. So I'm gonna put this up here. Oh yeah. I have gnats in my house and they're driving me up a freaking wall. Okay, let's see. All right, so I should be live in the six day blanket group on Facebook. I should be live on, um, thank you, thank you. I should be live on YouTube and I'm live on TikTok. And I'm Betty McNitt everywhere. So if you don't like the view, you can go to YouTube. Um, I can see your comments from YouTube and I can see who's commenting. If you're commenting from Facebook, I cannot see who you are so um, just yeah 
I'll, I'll respond to your comments, but unless you say who you are, I won't know. <sighs> okay. Let us begin. I'm going to start with this. You know what? I have a smaller. I just, um, this yarn that I used was a Karen Ogo, and I cut it apart, and I just used the colors that I, that I liked, and then it was mostly blues and purples, and then I ended up, um, I ended up, as I was working on the sweater, not liking some of the colors, so I ended up getting another, um, ordering a couple, like I had this one that was mostly blues, and so I cut them up and I used the different colors, um, however, randomly. I was not trying to match the sides of the sweater. And then I started doing this thing where I was taking a little bit of the color that I didn't like <laughs> and doing like one row of that color. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to, I'm going to start with the one that I like cause it's going to be in the middle and, um, I don't know what size I'm making. I'll figure it out as I'm doing it. Okay. So this starts with, hang on, let me flip so you don't have to look at me the whole time. All right six day hexagon cardigan the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make two hexagons and you want to unless you don't care like the the yellow jacket that i made um i i didn't i wanted a big sleeve so i just kept going until i had the sleeve length that i want but if you don't want a big sleeve you're going to stop your hexagon at at before it's really quite big enough to fit um, around the chest measurement, possibly. Just depends, but I use the sleeve uh, measurement to determine how big my hexagon's going to be. Mom to Miss Prime, you can make it in my size. Hey, Heather. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I asked my daughter what she wanted to name the jacket. I told her she could give it a name. And um, we were just tossing some names around. So um, she came up with a really, really fun name for it. But I'm gonna write it up. Okay. Let's see, chain four and join with the slip to form a ring. I don't recommend magic loop because it can come undone, but if you wanna do it, go ahead. Um, working into the, into the ring, standing double crochet or chain three counts as one. And then chain three. Hook size, I'm using a J hook. three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet five times. That was two, this is three. So I'm not gonna do any measurements or anything. I'm just gonna see how far I get tonight on this call and then decide how big I'm gonna make the actual sweater. It's probably gonna end up being kid size. Um, cause I do want to complete, um, as much of it as I can on these lives. So y'all will have tutorials and I need some help with my YouTube channel. If anyone in any of the groups would like to help me out with my YouTube channel, I can hire you as a VA and, um, 
and go through and chapter out my videos and and um, add some thumbnails and I actually have a little theme song and I just haven't I'm really I don't enjoy editing one two three four five one two three okay let's see five times and then two double crochet one what did I do there Kathy, you'll help. Okay, we'll talk later. After this call, I'm doing, um, what am I doing? I'm doing, um, it's just right on to the next thing in the McNitiverse. So let's see. So join with a slip stitch to the standing double crochet. And then you should have six sets of three double crochet and six chain three spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is just like the granny square. It's just six. The granny square was four. Set up round two. Slip stitch into the chain three space. Standing double crochet or chain three counts as one double crochet. So if you don't want to do standing double crochet, you do a chain three instead. And then you do another chain three. One, two, three, and then three. So you would chain six. So if you're not doing standing double crochet, you chain three and then you chain three again. You can do this with any yarn and hook, by the way. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think maybe I used an eye with Maya's sweater, but it's fine. I can keep going with this. I like this better. But yeah, I definitely feel like I used that silver hook. I don't see it here. Okay, and now we're going to three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, and each chain three space around. Oh yeah, I was starting to say, after this, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be in the McNiverse. We are moving on to the next thing, and we're working on Granny Square projects. Things to make with Granny Squares. And I'm working on some other shapes, an octagon, triangle, um, and a hexagon for the six day stitches. Moving right along. So whatever we're doing out here, we've been working on this hexagon cardigan. I'm gonna say we've been working on it since maybe April or May. A bunch of people in the membership community have made multiple six day hexagon cardigans um i mean one person has made multiples other several other people have made um made cardigans and we the, we i just figured it out as i was going along um through trial and error um not wanting to look at other hexagon 
patterns that are out there. I probably reinvented the wheel more than once, but um, that's what we did. We just we kind of started with the stitches and went, here's how you do this, here's how we do this. Oh man, that purple sweater the, and the yellow one, I took it apart and put it back together so many times. You can see that in the pattern too. Okay, so when I get back around, I'm going to put two double crochet in the last space and then join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three or the standing double, whichever you decided to do. Okay, and then it jumps from set up round one, set up round two, it jumps to round four. And the reason for that is because I keep the row numbers the same for all the six day projects. So you'll always know that row or round four is going to be a single crochet round. Um, and we do that because of these different types of stripes, the um, vivid chevrons, the snowflake effect, Australian confetti, popsicle, and what did I miss? I keep missing one, uh, viral, the viral stripes. Um, you can follow those row numbers and you can replicate those stripes on any six day project. Okay, so round four, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, single crochet in the same space, single crochet in each stitch around, make sure you get that one, working single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each corner space. So you'll have eight single crochet on each side single crochet, chain two, single crochet on each side, and then eight single crochet. Well, it's six across, total of eight. So the numbers that you see in the parentheses on the pattern, um, the, ne the number in parentheses is 27. So the next time I repeat and I get back to row four, uh, it'll be 27 per side. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then six single crochet across. Hi, thanks for following. Thanks for the likes. Hey, Valerie's Mood. I watch you every night working on your stuff. Did you find your yarn that you were looking for? I've been watching you make that really cool hexagon cardigan in those colors. It has like a teal and it has like orange tones and I just love it and I've been watching you work on that and then I saw that you ran out of yarn one two three four five six and then slip stitch to the first single crochet So this shouldn't lay flat because we're going to fold it in half and it's going to become a little sweater like that when you fold it. I'm folding it right sides together. You probably don't want to fold it like that. One of the testers um, made the point that if you want to add length to your sweater you're gonna end up working back and forth and turning back and forth so you'll have some rows that are showing the wrong side of the work and this is this part of the sweater is worked in the round so 
it would only be showing the right side and I did um, so they suggested that if you're going to add length that you should turn your hexagon so that some of the rows will be wrong side out. Um, I did not do that with my sweater and in my mind it does not look odd but you if you think that's going to look odd and you because we're going to be working part of this back and forth then you should turn your hexagon at some point turn it every other round let me see which row am I on round five slip stitch into the chain two space standing double crochet and I didn't really say how to do that you pull up a loop about the height of a double crochet and then you wrap your hook around it and then pull up a loop and then pull through two and pull through two and I, a lot of people complain about this when I put it in patterns and I'm just gonna say it took me a long time to get it so that I could do it and and be okay with the way it looks um, so if you don't like it just chain three you don't have to do it chain three two double crochet in the same space one two double crochet in each stitch or across it says around oh yeah I guess it's around and then in the corners you're gonna do two double crochet chain three two double crochet in each corner chain two space isn't this purple so cute One, two, three. You should end up with twelve double crochet on each side. So it'll be eight across the single crochet stitches and then two um, in each corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then chain three. One, two, three. One, two. Two, three, two in the corner. One, two. <laughs> Somebody's username is say what? <laughs> well, let me see. I'm going to be live every day um, for the next five days today and five more days for probably about an hour and a half and do like an hour and a half maybe two hours I have another meeting at eight so um, I can't stay on past then tonight but I want to do as much of this on lives as I can So I'll be um, I'll be live. 
think tomorrow, Wednesday, I think I'm, you're kidding me. <laughs> my sister just said my mom's coming up to watch. Now, to my knowledge, my mother has never watched me on YouTube crocheting. Wow. I have this much of the purple left. Do you think I'll make it to here? You know, I have never had more engagement on my TikTok video than that one time I was running out of yarn and I was playing um, yarn chicken <laughs> on the live. What's going on over here? Am I frozen? No. Okay. What's going on over here? Am I frozen? No. <laughs> How do we figure out child sizes? Um, okay, I have a couple questions on. Yes, Miss Lila, it will be, it will remain on YouTube and I'm gonna do my best to chapter it out and, and make it nice and organized for y'all. Um, Trish says, how do we figure out child sizes if we don't have access to said child? That's a very good question. So I think the best way to um, size your garment is to measure the individual that's gonna wear it. But if you don't have access to them, you can use the size charts on the um, Craft Yarn Council website, and I have them linked in my pattern. And I also have, um, I also have some charts and things to help you measure and, and figure out how big to make your the, pe the different pieces. Um, but they have, um, they have complete size char charts on their site. So you can just go over there and get the measurements from their site and then bring them back to the pattern and, and work accordingly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to put one more. This last stitch is a little goofy. Um, you can go into the slip stitch or you can go into the stitch below. Oh no, that doesn't go there. It goes, it goes in the hole. You're welcome. Yeah, take a look at my, um, take a look at the pattern on my site. It, it does give a lot of information about how to measure, what to measure, and how to how to work the pattern. Um, it talks about ease. You know, ease is um, if my if my uh, I think I measured my arm. I think my arm measurement that around was twelve inches. So if I have a if my arm measures twelve inches, I don't want this sleeve to fit. Well, this sleeve kind of fits exactly. So like this, this is a good example, actually. This sleeve has like no ease at all. It fits my arm, you know, snugly. If you, you know, if you don't want your sleeve like that, you want your sleeve to have some room in it, then you would add some ease. So if my arm measurement is 12 and I want, you know, two to four inches, like two inches of ease is going to be a, I don't know what's happening over here. Um, two inches of ease is gonna have just a little bit of room or four inches of ease will be even more. So I would take my arm measurement 12 inches and add two inches to that to determine the, um, the width. Actually, this is going to be a sleeve right here. So if I want two inches of ease on my sleeve uh, my arm of 12 inches, then I would work until this measures 14 inches. 
and then I would have my sleeve measurement. So that's that's all in the pattern to help you figure out how to how to um, make your garment to size. Okay. I'm just kind of tucking this little end away here so it doesn't keep bothering me. You know what I really like is, um, what round was that? Was round five. Round six is next. What I really enjoy doing on these calls is having you all decide what the next color is I'm going to use. Remember I said I was bringing in some of the colors like I, that I don't actually like. <laughs> so this is one of the this is one of the colors that I don't actually like. Dark purple. Thank you, Trish. I don't have that much of it on this particular ball, so we'll see how we do. Okay, I am um, joining a new color, so I'm gonna start with a standing stitch at the beginning of the round. Heather says dark purple also. Dark purple wins. So this is round six. So I'm gonna start with that standing double crochet in the chain three space and then chain three two double crochet going to double crochet in each stitch around everyone likes dark purple yes there's not that much of it left either hi mom <laughs> My mom's here. This is weird. I don't think she's ever watched me before. I have to watch my mouth. No swearing. <laughs> I don't usually swear on my lives, but if you want to hear me swear, you can just join one of my Zoom meetings. That's where I usually let loose two double crochet chain three two double crochet in the corners one two three tell mom this is the same as the granny square she's working on it just has six sides instead of four don't forget that guy right there Thanks for the likes. Appreciate it. This is round six. Just double crochet in each stitch across and you should end up with 16 on each side. If you're watching on YouTube, you should be able to put captions on.
I enjoyed working with this yarn. Sadly, I don't think they're making it anymore. It was the Karen Ogo Big Donut was what it was called. And I just picked a couple of them up on clearance at Michael's one day. My daughter was with me and she was like, oh, you know, that's how she ended up with the jacket. Um, Cause she liked the yarn, no captions available. Try turning off the volume. I think if you turn off the volume, it will auto caption. Or it might have to, it might have to, you know, process once I'm done, once I end the live. I'm liking this yarn with this bigger hook too. I used an eye last time. Two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet in each corner. See, this is really starting to like take that shape now where it's, it's three dimensional. One of the people that worked in an early stage just said, mine doesn't lay flat, it better not. You don't want it to lay flat. Thanks for the likes. I'm going to be sad when this purple's gone. TikTok is quiet tonight. I want to hear about the six day hexagon cardigans you all are going to make. I'm really excited about this pattern. I've never released a pattern like this before. Um, that's been, well, the six day kid blanket, but that was totally unintentional. But I've never released a pattern that was like, kind of a blank slate type recipe kind of pattern it it feels like really ambitious for me um a lot of work and thought went into it hi when you get back around you slip stitch into the top Just going to take a little pause right there. So if you're if you're commenting on um, from Facebook uh, because you're inside of a private group, I can't see your name. Uh, I can tell who you are over on if you comment on YouTube or TikTok. Cheers for me drinking water. Oh, let me see. I should count. This is row six. It should have 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay! It's always a little scary to count on a live because what if it's wrong? <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Let me see. I should talk about this. So pattern has parentheses, has the 16, and then it has 35, 53, 71, dot, dot, dot. It goes up by 18 every time. So the next time when I go around and I come back to round six, the next time when it's that much bigger, it'll have 30, it should have 35 per side. And then the next time it should have uh, 53. starting to get the hexagon cardigan shape. It's not letting you comment on TikTok? No wonder nobody's commenting. Can you say what's not clear about YouTube? Is it out of focus or is it, um, because it looks really clear on my end. I turn off accidentally turn off commenting why is it not letting people comment I wonder this has been so quiet not one single comment the whole time it says you need to just to subscribe to join well because I'm looking at it I'm looking at it through another account but yeah I don't there's no comments at all so weird you know I the the social media platforms have just like not been on my side lately I'm not sure what's happening it was fine till I just adjusted it Okay, well, I'm, I must have said it to subscriber comments. I didn't mean to do that. I'll have to fix it before I go live again tomorrow. It was fine until I just adjusted it. Do y'all like getting closer like this or further away? Because that, to me, that's like really in focus from what I can see. This subscription on TikTok thing is just weird. I don't know what I'm supposed to be giving people <laughs> to subscribe. I'm just going to crochet. Okay. Round seven. Single crochet in the chain three space. Chain two. Single crochet in the same space. Single crochet in each stitch around. Working single crochet, chain two single crochet in each corner space. Amanda says, trying out a kid size, my little grand niece. Oh, that's nice. Making video is hard, people. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner. And then single crochet, let me see. It's saying I should have 18 per side. Okay. And it, it does increase by 18 every time, but it goes up by 19 the first time. I should have said that. 
I'm like, I'm doing math that it's wrong. Hi, thank you for the rose. I'm sorry no one can comment. That's silly. I don't want that. Thanks for the likes. One of the um, testers who made uh, made this, worked up this pattern for me, she said she finished hers in three days. I know there was a TikToker that was like really trying to do hers in six days. And I think she made it. I think she pretty much finished it with the exception of the ribbing. Um, she made a really cute sweater. She made a full adult size sweater too in six days. Am I there? I am. I wasn't sure this dark purple was going to make it all the way across this row. So that last one is a slip stitch. Okay, Let's see, did I do it right? I should have 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Trish says, my mind is going, could it be done in fingering for an infant size? I think it could be done in any yarn. I know um, one of the uh, one of the women in the McNitiverse, Julie, she made two infant size sweaters with worsted weight. But you absolutely could do fingering. I was trying to make one with fingering weight and mohair and a J hook. And, um, oh, it's Megan. Hi, Megan. Yes. Um, Megan's saying it definitely can be done in six days. Hers is an extra large, and she finished it during the self care Zoom call days. Okay. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put because this is this is no more. <laughs> this one's done. I'm going to save it because that might be enough. Hi. That might be enough. They're saying good morning, so it, it's somebody in Australia. So, um good good morning, good evening. I always say good morning to them when it's evening to them. Um, okay, so I'm going to put the colors out here 
and then I'm going to see if I can fix the TikTok thing because I don't like not being able to have comments from TikTokers. It's not fair. They should be able to um, choose colors too. Hey, Jenny, sorry to hear about your cat, my dear. It's always hard losing a pet. Let's see, what else do I have? I have that. That and that are the same. Are they? Well, whatever. Um, let's see, and I'll throw this caca brown in here. All right, let's see if I can fix this. Why is it saying settings, comment settings, allow comments. There. Now everybody on TikTok can comment. So now I want to hear you all on TikTok what you have to say. I only have one subscriber and it's my sister, so it's just that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Thanks for the likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, TikTok. TikTok is the best. Except for that subscribe thing. I'm not too keen about that. Yeah. Oh, it's Casey. Hi, Casey. Yes, Andrews. Thank you so much. Andrews Crochets is happy. Hey, Jenny. You're over here on TikTok now. What are we doing next, color-wise? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying not to touch them because I have a, I have one that I want and um, I'm doing great, Casey. I'm feeling better. I was sick over the weekend, but I'm feeling better. I got myself all worked up. That's what happens. I get myself all worked up and then I get sick. Yeah, there's a delay on YouTube. I'm just taking my time. Andrews has made the call. Andrews wants the brown. Trish, that's what I wanted. I wanted the light blue. But Andrew's over on TikTok beat you. How do I have yarn barf when I've got it rolled up in this ball? I, have, I don't know how I managed that, but I did. Okay, so this is something I do when I'm working in the round like this and I'm starting a new color is I will join at, I ended here, I will join at a different corner. So that way I don't have all the ends just like piled up. And what round am I on now? Now I'm on round two. So it starts with a slip stitch into the chain two space and then a standing double crochet. So I'm just gonna start with a standing double in the chain two space in the corner. Chain three, three double crochet 
Andrews. This is, I'm liking this. I didn't put this in the original jacket. Hi, Misty. You're a row behind. Saturday blue jeans ombre. Karen simply soft, double stranded. To look tie dye. Oh, that's exciting. I can't wait to see that. Okay, I've got the three double crochet. And now we're going to skip to, this is round two is the pain round, okay? This is like the setup round you have to get right or the rest of it's messed up. The rest of it is a little bit more mindless or easy to just like follow along. But this row, you have to think, Hey, Chronically Stitches, I'm doing, um, this is a Karen Ogo Big Donut, which is discontinued. I always end up with the discontinued yarn. So just make sure when you count, you count that first single crochet, because we're working in the round. The top of it is leaning over to the right just a little bit, so count that. One, two. I mean, it's decent yarn, but it's your basic um, worsted weight. You can you could sub any of the any of the worsted weight solid color you know in the colors that you like um i don't know can can you uh maybe somebody could give i, I like vanna's choice for for worsted weight in different colors um i know big twist has a lot of is it big twist value has all those different colors um, so we're skipping two. So skip two and then three double crochet in the next space. Yes, you can comment now. I fixed it because I couldn't stand it. <laughs> I want to talk to you all. Okay, and then um, let's see skip two, double crochet three together would be so beautiful in Bendigo cotton. Lovely and drapey. I really hope that people will be creative and I know I made a really cute sweater for my daughter but I hope that people will really get creative and make you know just the wonder a wonderful sweater of their dreams. So double crochet three together skip one double crochet three together so there's just one skip one and i included this to make the math work out right skip two three double crochet in the next skip two three double crochet in the next Hey Nico, it's out. And then three, three, three in the corner. It's out, it's on my website. You can, you're welcome. You can get it for free on my website with ads or you can um, purchase an ad-free PDF. My page has a lot of ads because I still want to get paid. I want to be able to offer it for free, but I also want to get paid. BettyMcNitt.com. Skip to three double crochet. Did I do it right? I'm talking. Skip to three double crochet skip two double crochet three together skip one 
double crochet three together. Well, it's a double crochet three together cluster and not a decrease. Skip two, three double crochet in the next. Skip two, three double crochet in the next. Hi! And then three, three, three in the corner. Skip two, three double crochet. Ah. Jenny, you should come visit. I have to get my passport so I can go to Australia. I want to go to Bendigo Woolen Mills and get that big bale that they, um, they have of all the yarn ends and you pick it apart. <laughs> Skip two, three double crochet. Our, the temperature dropped here on the Outer Banks and I mean, let me tell you, it. I just love, I just love the beach this time of year. Oh, that's not Bendigo. It's a different one. Oh, no. Yes, we're going to road trip. We're going to get Glynis's, um, what does she call it? Caravan. We call them campers. She calls it like a pull behind. The Betty Mobile. <laughs> You're flooding in South Australia. Oh my goodness. No, I am not near Cameron. I am on the Outer Banks. I'm not going to say what town because um, you could practically find me <laughs> if I say what town <laughs> I'm in. You could practically just go walking around my neighborhood and see me through my window. It sounds so fun to me. Um, Trish says Cambridge fi Fibers, is that Ontario? Has tangle bags. So much fun to un untangle and ball up two garbage bags for $25. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Post your photos of your sweater um, somewhere and tag me so I can see them. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick somebody for a little swag item. Maybe more than one somebody. I might pick one person from each platform. There's just a little weird moment at the end of this row where you only have one to skip. But it's okay. Close enough. And then three, three, three in the corner. I 
I mean, I think just by some of the things I even say on this live, you know, like the, the walkway to the beach goes right past my house, you know, like <laughs> wouldn't be too hard to find me. <laughs> My friend is coming from Melbourne to New York City in April. She is bringing me some yarn. I can ask her. Oh, wow. That would be wonderful. I don't know who that is talking to me from Facebook, but... Um, we have a, I, I mean, I haven't really publicized it yet because I'm just keeping it in the membership community because there are just so few spots, but we have a retreat plan for May um, to go to the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival. So Jenny, you should come, yeah. Megan, you should come to the um, to the festival retreat with us. Tell your friend to come from Melbourne. <laughs> she won't have enough room in her um, in her uh, luggage for all the yarn she'll want to take back from Maryland sheep and wool. I'm gonna bring my spinning wheel so people can learn and drop spindles so people can learn how to spin. sorry this isn't going to be a very good tutorial and people are going to be mad because I'm talking during the pain row I'm going slow so I got to hand it to you, Andrews, Andrews Crochet. I really like this um, color that you picked. Yeah, yes, I'm going to put it, um, kids and chickens. <laughs> Yeah, you nailed it. Yes, Jenny, this is going to be on my on on the the YouTube when I'm done. And I'm on the Kathy's going to help me go through and chapter them. Chapter it out. So Wow. Okay. Thanks for the likes. So you should have these two double crochet DC3 together clusters here, and then two sets of three on each side and then three, three, three in each corner. And I, uh, my motto is lay it down and admire it. So every few rows, lay it down, or at the end of every row, lay it down, admire it, 
drink some of your water. Stretch your hands. It's really not healthy to just crochet nonstop for hours and hours, but I know we all do it. But it's really not healthy. Also, when you lay it down and admire it, you can check. You can you'll note you might notice if you've made a mistake. I'm gonna keep going with this cucka brown. Andrews picked. Round three. I feel like I need a bell. <laughs> I don't know why that just came out like that. Mom said fold it so you can tell it's the underarm. Okay, I'm going to listen to my mama. Mom says I should fold it so you can tell it's the underarm. There you go. Little baby one. Cute. Okay. Round three. Da Ding. Um, I think I do have sound effects actually. Let me see. No. No. I'll look for those later. <laughs> Wait, is this it? Yeah. Hmm. All I have is, um, I have, a, I have a bicycle horn. I'll do that. <laughs> I need the, um, I need the round, the, what is it? Boxing. Okay. Or Super Smash Bros. That's what comes to mind when I think of that. Uh, all right. Slip stitch into the chain three space. Standing double crochet. I don't make them. Trish is asking, will the other side match? Probably not. If it's me, I like to, um, uh, I like to make them different. Scotty Hogan says, are you crocheting a hexagon cardigan? Why, yes, I am. This is the six day hexagon cardigan. So I did a standing double crochet, a chain three, and now three double crochet into the chain three space on the corner. Thanks for following, Scotty. And then um, I'm going to do a uh, <laughs> watching on the big screen and commenting on TikTok. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to just like a granny square, three double crochet in each of these. And then in between these two, we're going to do that double crochet three together cluster. That's how the row goes. Oh, thank you. It's the six day kid blanket inspired shrug. If you don't like the standing double crochet, you can just chain three. So chain three and then chain another three. So chain six at the start of the round. And then in between, double crochet three together. Okay. 
Um, so Scotty, uh, Scotty is asking a really great question on TikTok. I'm making my first one and I'm making it for someone who wears a 4XL. How many rounds would I go? What I would suggest you do is um, you can you can use my my pattern, this one, the six day hexagon cardigan. It um, has a link to the um, Craft Yarn Council website that has measurements. And what I would do, um, this is round three. What I would do is I would, um, because if you keep going and going and going for a 4XL, you're going to have a gigantic sleeve and the sleeve might be too long. So I would stop making the hexagon bigger when the sleeve is the right width and length. And then I would add um, width to the front and back of the sweater. And um, my pattern, it uses different stitches, but it explains how to do that. So you can check it on my website, uh, bettymcnitt.com. And there's a lot of information there that I think you'll find helpful. This is round three, and then you do a three, three, three in the corner. You're very welcome. It's a really good question. Yeah, the way that I wrote this pattern is it's more of a recipe than an actual pattern. So um, it directs you to continue making the hexagon grow the hexagon until you have the sleeve that you want and then add width to the back you can add length to the bottom and you can add to the front hey nerdy hooker thanks for the follow so my my pattern doesn't give any sizes it's just for to help you make the size that you want. Whoops. Double crochet three together. I mean, unless you want your, unless you want a big baggy sleeve, a lot of people make them and wear them like that. Um, the the jacket that I made, I just made the sleeve gigantic, kimono style or whatever. It works for me. The six day hexagon cardigan pattern is meant to be like a template like the six day kid blanket is um, is adaptable to different yarn different sizes different ways to stripe it no two are alike hey be the bee the um the this the sweater that i'm wearing is just a shrug and it's the six day kid blanket inspired shrug. It's on my website, bettymcnitt.com. I'll be on here every day this week making six day uh, kid blanket inspired wearables. I'm doing the hex cardigan because I just released it today um but you're welcome to make um a you know the shrug wearable during this crochet along and you can come on during the next five lives and ask me any questions you want small rabbit thing says betty mcnitt i'm making five stars for christmas this year oh that warms my heart Please post, uh, tag me in your social um, photos or videos with those so I can see them. I love seeing them. 
Heather says, I am not one of those people who enjoy untangling yarn, not even for a $25 bag full, but I would love to watch somebody else do it. I have a feeling um, that, oh, small rabbit thing says, I'm so ultra private, but I will just for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. You can email them to me, bettymcnitt at gmail. Oh, thanks for following, Naughty Pharmacist. Heather, I have a feeling that I would enjoy it for about 20 minutes, and then I would be like, oh. <laughs> but it looks like um, Trish says her husband actually enjoys it. I had my ex-husband weaving into ends for me at one point because he couldn't stand that I had stuff that was not done, but it was just sitting there in the basket and all it needed was um, ends woven in. <laughs> so I showed him how to weave in the ends and he sat there and did it um, while we were watching TV, which is like one time or maybe twice. I And yeah, I was like, could you weave these in? And he did it. Oh, small rabbit things. I adore you and your incredible work. Thank you for reading my comment. You are, I adore you, small rabbit things. Don't be so private. Show off your stuff. I want to see those stars. Maria Crochet says, I have made three supernovas last year. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm getting chills when I hear this, you guys. You have no idea. It, like, it, it is a really special feeling when I see my pattern worked up, like someone else has worked up my pattern, and I see those, those pictures. Um, and just knowing that, like, there are so many blankets in the world um, from these patterns is, like, I, I mean, it means a lot to me. They all won ribbons in our local fairs. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That's, I'm, I'm so happy for you. That's great. Wow. Aw. Yarn Garden Company says, I made my first pattern from you. I love your stuff and plan to use more. Oh, thank you. You guys, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. You know, like this is like my mom's watching for the first time. You guys are trying to make me cry, right? Showing off for my mom. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh, I might have to take a break. Seriously, I'm crying. Well, I'm really excited to see you all in your hexagon cardigans. I'm I'm excited about this pattern and I'm proud of it. Deep breaths. <laughs> this is a habit that I have and that is to take a deep breath whenever I pull pull the yarn, pull my yarn just so I remember to breathe. It's saying you need to subscribe to join the discussion again. But I hope TikTok didn't like revert to that other setting. I, I seriously am crying. You guys made me cry. <laughs> I seriously am. Bye, Mom. <laughs> She's had enough. My mom's leaving now. <laughs> She's like, enough of this. <laughs>
camera batteries out over on the other channel. <clears throat> Bye, Mom. Love you. There it goes. Thanks for the follow. Okay, so I'm going to be here every, I'll be here all week. Um, I'm going to be here every day for the next five days. This is day one of a six-day crochet along. trying to remember what time I said I would be on tomorrow night and I think it's 9 p.m. Eastern time but you can um, do I have a link in my link tree to the crochet along I'm not sure if I do I know if you're on TikTok, the my the live events are scheduled, so you can register for them um, and get be notified or or whatever TikTok does. I don't actually know what they do when you register for a live event, but you can register for the live events um, for the rest of the week. I think tomorrow night's 9 p.m. And then if you do end up making a six day something, make sure you tag me, make a, make a video or post a photo on social and tag me so that I can see your beautiful creations. Oof. I have gnats. I, I don't know where they're coming from. Eastern time. I'm almost at the end of this row and I'll look it up so I know for sure. I think I might have time on the live to do one more round. So Oh, what am I doing? Do you all think I should stay with the brown? Or should I change colors? Tomorrow is 8. Thank you, Amy. Tomorrow is 8 p.m. and then Thursday is 9 p.m. Thank you. I'll put a link in my link tree also so that um, because I do have all the information on my website you can go over there um, and see it on my on my site, all the details and all the times. And I have time and date links over there on my website so that you can click it and see what time it is in your time zone. I do that just, just for you. Okay, I'll fold this so we can see. Andrews says, uh, okay, Hetty says, yes, stay with brown, and Andrews says change. Hi, Gina, I'm making the six-day hexagon cardigan. Just released the pattern today on my website, BettyMcNitt.com. I have two votes for change and one vote for stay. 
I'm going to give YouTube a chance to catch up because I have 23 over on YouTube and they're a little bit behind because there's a delay. I'll bring out the choices. Change color, light blue. All right, I got two votes for the light blue. Kathy made the call. Kathy's vote counts double. <laughs> Andrews says light blue, light blue. Andrews, I'll let you pick every time because you made me a believer in this cuck of brown. After this, I'll be zooming in the um, Betty McNitiverse with my peeps over there. And um, if you missed it, when I start a new color, I don't start it where I ended the last one. I, I switch so that the ends aren't all lined up on the same corner. You know, because it, it's, it's, sometimes it's kind of visible when you do that. And it's also a pain to weave them in. There's nowhere to weave them. You're weaving ends into ends. And I do not tie knots. Don't even say the M word. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. Claudia asks, what kind of yarn are you using for this project? So this is a worsted weight yarn, and this is a J-hook. Um, and... This is that Ogo Big Donut, which they don't have anymore. I picked up a couple. Sometimes when I design, I'm not thinking about, um, I'm not, I, I, because I don't just only design for one specific yarn. I design, like, my most of my projects and patterns are meant to be adaptable. So this yarn is no longer, it's the Ogo Big Donut, and it was on clearance at Michael's. But I can just say that this is just like your basic worsted weight, so you can use any colors you like. I had these two colorways that, like I said, they were on clearance. They were like the last couple left. One of them was actually like, had actually come apart, and... My daughter was with me and she was like, just get it because she liked the colors. It was a lot of blues. Um, she's not tying knots before when she was here. <laughs> I didn't tie knots then either. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this is just, it's just very basic worsted weight yarn, just Vanna's Choice is another worsted weight I use a lot. They have a lot of colors you can kind of go. Um, paint box, style craft, um, you know, just any any worsted weight, basic worsted weight acrylic yarn, and pick the colors that you like. Um, I do like the cake yarns and the yarns where they put together different colors, but this particular one uh, once I started working with it there were some colors that I didn't really like okay what am I doing round four so after round three you go back up to round four and I'm gonna start with a slip knot on my hook and a standing single crochet in the corner single crochet in the chain three space chain two. Ooh, this blue is pretty with this brown. Single crochet in the same space. Single crochet in each stitch around. Working single crochet, chain two, single crochet, 
in the corner round four ding <laughs> i forgot my ding i'm gonna have to go download that sound effect um <laughs> that's funny that is funny stuff okay thanks for following appreciate it Yeah, Kathy, good job. She just called it right out. Change, light blue. She wasn't messing around. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner, and then single crochet in each stitch across. So remember I said when you come back around to round four the second time, you're going to look at the numbers in parentheses to see how many you should have. So this, uh, we're on the first repeat of this, so it's the first number inside the brackets and it's 27, so 27 single crochet on each side. Hi Jesse, thanks for stopping in. This is the six day hexagon cardigan. I just released it today. Hey Liz. Oh yeah. Liz says, uh, finally catching another live since the star blanket need to join the mcnitiverse yes please join i'm gonna uh, I'm, we're zooming right after this eight o'clock tonight and we um this this pattern that i'm working on right here the six day hexagon cardigan was developed in the in the mcnitiverse with the i call them citizens with the citizens of the mcnitiverse um we've been you know working on this for forever so tonight now that the pattern has been released we're we're in the um it's i have like a little design workshop and we are working on the next thing which is going to be um things made with granny squares and other types of shapes um octagon triangle um, with uh, six day stitches so I'm working on a six day octagon um, triangle uh, different projects putting granny squares together in different creative ways I have a ton of ideas so I've been um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing like what what ideas people are going to be bringing to the design uh, workshop, especially with granny squares. You should join, um, you could definitely master it, but you should join the McNitiverse. It would be cheaper than buying the pattern <laughs> if you, um, I mean, the pattern's accessible on my website for free, but the McNitiverse is, I think, $11 a month. Um, 13 if you join the design workshop. The design is a premium. It's an extra two bucks a month, but um, even whatever level you join at, you're gonna get the hexagon pattern. It's in the content. It's in the free content this month. So I give so much free content in there. Um, this month, the citizens uh, 
this this month the bonus content that I gave for them is um, they got all three of the Christmas tree skirts they got the hexagon cardigan and they got the invisible woman hat and the and the um, invisible um, people hat because I updated those so I gave them to those it's uh, it's BettyMcNitiverse.com. It's my membership community. Yes, you can join. Andrews, please join. <laughs> boo boo. What's the project in the comments if someone can I have to watch muted right now? The project in the comments. The six day hexagon cardigan? what I'm working on. Thanks for following. Yeah, I um I do uh thank you. Six day hexagon cardigan. I have the I I drip out the my pattern library in there three or four patterns at a time so every month you get three or four patterns and then when I release something new it goes into that library but I also just give it to you <laughs> I also just give it to you and then there are patterns in there that I've never released that they have access to and then um, things like, you know, when I release these new blanket patterns, six day kid blanket patterns, and I, I make a new, um, this is so pretty, Andrews and Kathy, you guys, you guys did good. Tahini is saying, how do you pick your colors? I'll let the people on the live tell me what color to do next. So Andrews, who's my num Andrews Crochets, um, who's my number one um, watcher on this live, chose this brown. And Kathy um, Bertram, who's my number one citizen in my universe, um, picked this light blue. If you are using cakes, would you let the colors flow or control them? So I love cakes, and I think that cake yarn was made for the Six Day Kid Blanket projects. It just looks so good in, in um, worked up. You know, a lot of people don't like cake yarn because if it changes mid-row, then they don't, they don't like it. But for whatever reason, this pattern, the Six Day Kid Blanket, the original chevron, this, the mid-row color changes aren't quite as obvious, especially if you, if you mix them. So I like to take the cake yarns and alternate. So I'll do the Vivid Chevrons pattern um, and I'll change, I'll use a cake yarn for four of the rows and then I'll change to a different cake yarn for rows five and six. That's like my go-to. When I don't want to think, that's called Betty's Lazy Mix, and it's on my website. It's a, you know, cake yarn, six-day kid blanket. So I mostly let it flow, but sometimes if there is a really obvious high contrast color change that happens, and it's happening like right in the middle of the row or right in the middle, and I feel like it's going to be obvious, then I'll just cut and control and, you know, and, and start, um, I'll just control it so that the color change happens at the beginning of the row or in a less obvious place. But mostly I let it flow. And I just did the whole, the entire six day superstar shawl on, on, on lives um, last month took me a couple weeks to do it and I, I kept score <laughs> for how, when the colors changed if I let them flow or if 
I cut them. And I think I had six color changes and I think I only cut twice. So the score was four to two. But then I made a boo-boo because I lost some of the yarn that I cut and then I, I ran out of yarn. <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> so then I had to, I had to emergency. I had to, yeah, that was, I had a lot of people on that live <laughs> watching me try and figure out how to make the blanket, how, not the blanket, the shawl. Am I even answering the question? I just feel like I, it's like, it's like word vomit at this point. I feel like I just started talking and I can't stop, but that's a really good question. <laughs> I, I mostly let it flow, except sometimes I don't. What am I doing here? Okay. I think I'm going to stop because I don't think I'm really going to have time to go all the way around on on this call but I'm loving the way this looks um, thank you to everyone who helped me pick colors and thanks to everyone for being here on the live um, and making it so fun asking questions um, let me fold it so it looks like a sweater half I'm gonna probably work on this tonight um, and tomorrow off video off video so that I can move on to the next step tomorrow because I know you all want to see this worked up on video so that you have the you have the help and you have the visual um, so I probably will make I'll make the other half um, tonight off video and I'll probably make it a little bit bigger I'll decide I'll decide tonight what size I'm making um, and I'll take it from there so I'll be back tomorrow um, night what time did I say eight o'clock eight o'clock tomorrow and if you if you go join the Magnetiverse right now you can, we, can, <laughs> we can keep hanging out <laughs> Thank you for following. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get going so I can grab a quick snack before my next um, thing. Thank you, Andrews. It was really a pleasure having you here. And I hope to. I hope you'll join and I can meet you on the live, on the Zoom calls over in the um, Magnitiverse. You're so welcome. It's been a real pleasure. All right, let me bring this down so I can say goodbye to TikTok properly. I know you all don't want to see my face so big. <laughs> all right. Bye. I'll see y'all later. Let me finish this and the broadcast.